Good day, YouTube. I am Tricia, and welcome once again to Avril Levin. Today, I have a brief thrift haul to share with you. Over the weekend, I visited my usual thrift store, which is World of Thrift, and I came across a new thrift store by the name of Sunrise Flea Market. It's not a flea market, it's a, it's a thrift store, but that's the name of it. And the items there was fabulous, but a little bit pricey. There were some items that were pretty reasonable, but like the vintage items were a little bit higher. And um, I'm not used to paying for that price, I'm not used to paying that for my vintage wear. But um, I'm not going to hold up. I'll take up a lot of time. I'm going to get started with this first item. And it's this fabulous camisole. Should I put it here? It's by Pura Lana. Pura Lana, it's an Italian, um, an Italian brand. And I went on the website to gather information, but it was in Italian. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't understand um, the information that was there. But what I did, the information I did gather, is that pure lamer means, in English, it means pure wool or all wool. So you can infer that the majority or if all of their clothes were made of wool and it feels really soft and um, I like the v-neck detail and the lace lining around the arms and the uh, neck line I also like the uh, gathered detail in the waist it gives an hourglass shape this looks really, really good one. I tried it on in the store and it looks really good on. I haven't tried it since I washed it, but I, I washed it and dry it in the washer and dryer. So it came out pretty nice. This was 95 cents. Awesome steal. And by the way, this is a top. It may look like a dress, but it's a top. My next item this is V neck, V front and the back, lace top. It looks big, but it's fitted. It just looks boxy. I like the lace detail. It's a triangular lace in the front bodice and back bodice. And I also like the lining that comes across the body. Very interesting detail in the flowers. <clears throat> This was also 95 cents. Oh, and there's no uh, tag in this. The tag has been removed, so this I don't have any information for you guys. But if someone has a similar top to this, and um, you have a tag in and you have information, you can just post it on my channel. I would be more than happy to um, look over it for you. My next find is this fabulous um, cotton boat neck shirt. It's by Massimo, the designer. Um, this brand is carried in Target. I love the shape of the shirt. Now, it looks pretty small, but it's not. There's a lot of give in this. Um, I like my shirt, my t shirts fitted. Because I wear a lot of baggy bottoms, so it will help balance it out. Oh, this was 95 cents as well. My next awesome find is this Bob um, Take That Tea. And for you guys that doesn't know um, the name Take That, it's uh, that name is a British uh, pop band or rock band and they uh, make 
teeth, but they're like an older band, kind of like after the Beatles. They were really, really big. I guess they're still big now they're older. Um, what I like about this t-shirt is very witty. I like the, the writing. Save the drama for your llama. And look at the llama. He looks so cool. This shirt was uh, $3.95. It had the green tag on it, so there was I didn't get anything off. Um, normally on Saturdays at Brooklift, they have a 50% off. And this was regular price. I paid full price for that. <clears throat> Last but least is this vintage um, Loma Red Poet Hand Clutch bag. It's beaded. As you guys know, I love beaded um, handbags. This was $6. I love the floral stitching detail, the green and pink floral stitching. Um, the, uh, it's not, the bead is on top of the stitching, but it's clear beads. It's clear and white, like see-through beads on white. So this is an awesome find. And um, this is vintage. Um, this is um, the year, I think it's between 1950 and 60s, in between there. And this is in great condition. So this was another awesome find. And that concludes the end of my World Thrift collection. I'm moving on to the um, this new thrift store I just recently discovered. It's about a mile away from World Thrift. And um, starting with this uh, fabulous vintage handbag. It was a handbag, but the, um, the owner removed the straps, so now it's a clutch. And I love it. I love the um, snake skin look detail. I love the, the um, checker pattern and also the uh, gold studs. What I like the most about this is the uh, suede inside, the lining, but it's only this the flap. It also has a pocket and it also has a designer name and the um, inspection number. It's nice that they kept this. This is the inspection number. It's by Sharif Design. And I got a little bit of information on the uh, Sharif company. It's a family-owned business. They've been, um, they're from Egypt. They've been designing handbags from the 1800s. But the um, Sharif, the son, he's been designing handbags from he was a little boy. And that's amazing. For someone, for a child to know what they want to do and then they just, you know, do it and continue doing it to this day. So this was $2. My next item is this Fabulous. Fabulous Ralph Lauren white floral print cotton skirt, A line skirt. I love the front button detail. And um, when I wear this, I'm wearing it with the button open. Kind of like that look. Um, I also like the fact that Mr. Lorraine took the time out to emboss his um, signature on the buttons and in an inconspicuous manner, which makes this very chic and classy because I really don't like um, designer names, especially on my clothes. But this one, he was very clever on um, adding his signature in a less conspicuous way. Hats off to him. This is a stitching signature, which is so cool. 
I love the um, the pleats around the hemline and also the eyelids. Really beautiful skirt. Now I saw this on eBay and the starting bid for this skirt is $33 and I purchased this for $4 at the mom and pop uh, flea market. So this was an awesome find and I can't wait to wear this in spring and also in summer so I'll get um, a lot of wear from this skirt. Last but least is this fabulous knit sweater I'm wearing. This sweater is by Cara Little and um, she is a designer from the mid 70s. I didn't gather a lot of information on her but they had like a couple of write-ups, one in the Las Vegas Review and the other one is in the LA Time and for what I've been reading, she's um, been designing from the mid 70s and um, I love this crochet handmade knit sweater. I love the color also. It's really nice and it goes with um, my earrings. This was on the $2.50 rack but I purchased it for $1.50. So this was an awesome awesome steal. I'm definitely going back to the mom and pop store because they do have great deals on certain items but I think I can um, kind of like talk them down into lowering the price a bit. I just have to <laughs> work up to it. But um, that concludes the end of my grip findings. And I hope you enjoy this review of my items. And um, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit your likes or dislike button. And also leave your comment. Uh, let me know what you think of this tutorial. And um, I'll see you next time. Au revoir.